the expectations of the men, the expectations of the women, the expectations of the young, the expectations of the old, our expectations will be met. Our Father and the Lord told us at the media launch, no, at the media briefing, that all the 400 years that were passed before the coming of Jesus, the people were expectant. The economic area, they were expecting. In their social life, they were expecting something. In their religious life, they were expecting something. In their physical life, they were expecting something. And here we are tonight. GCK, GCK, Ghana version. All the expectations of our life. The Lord will meet our expectations. The Spirit of the Lord will meet our expectations. The Lord will meet our expectations. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Your loudest, amen. Your loudest, amen. Hallelujah. Now, finally, you are here. There's something you want the Lord to do for you. There is something you want the Lord to do for you. Let's pray that what, you, what is on your heart, what you want God to do for you, it will be done as you expect. It will be done as you expect. Let's begin to pray. Say, Lord, I'm here for something. I brought somebody here for something. I told the people in the country that something is going to happen. When we were publicizing we said there will be there will be supernatural conversions. We said there will be supernatural healings. We said there will be supernatural deliverances. We said there will be manifestation of God's power to save, to deliver, to heal, and to set free. And so the hour has come. Let's say, Lord, the hour has come. The hour has come. The hour has come. Lord, the hour has come. Lord, the hour has come. Let it be so. Let it be so. As thou hast promised. As thou hast promised. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, we bless your name tonight. We worship you this evening. You are a mighty God. You are a wonderful Father. You are a glorious Father. You can do all things. That is why we are here. You have sent us to the world. And that is why we are here. You have given us your promises. And that is why we are here. You have given us your son. Our Lord Jesus Christ. And that is why we are here. And you have given us the Holy Spirit. And that is why we are here. Oh Lord tonight. Oh Lord tonight. As you have promised. As you have promised. Let it be so. 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 Let, it be so. Let the nation rejoice. Let your people rejoice. Let Ghana rejoice. Let Africa rejoice. Let the whole world rejoice. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And we pray for our Father in the Lord. As he sits here tonight. As he stands here tonight. As he ministers here tonight. Your power. Your power. Your anointing. Unprecedented. Unprecedented. Mighty upon his, his life. Mighty upon his life. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit divine. Take control over the whole program. And all the people who are going to minister. The choristers. And all the ministrations going on here today. The spirit of God will take over. And the kind of revival that we have never seen before. Let it start from here. Let it start from here. And let it go everywhere. Thank you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We honor you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. I said in Jesus' name we pray. Another GCK. Amen. Amen. God bless you.
are happy to be here. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I want to hear everybody say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We are coming to worship God and praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So I want you to connect your spirit and the Lord will bless you today in the name of Jesus. Shall we be on our feet humbly as we enter into the throne of worship? Just begin to think about the things of God and say something to him. Praise thy name, O Lord. Join me singing. We, we praise, praise thy name, name, O Lord. I want you to lift up your voice and we sing. We praise thy name. Oh, 
joy that floods my soul. Something happened, and now I know He touched me and made me whole. Oh, He touched me. He touched me.
I will enter his gate with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his court with praise. I will say, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made. I will enter. I will enter his gate with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his court with praise. I would say, this is the day that, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. Oh. He has made me glad. I want to hear you sing it. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Oh, Abraham's blessings are mine. Abraham's blessings are mine. I am blessed in the morning. I am blessed in the evening. Abraham's blessings are mine. Blessings are mine. Abraham's blessings are mine. Blessings are mine. Abraham's blessings are mine. Blessed in the morning, I am blessed in the evening. Abraham's blessings are mine. Blessings are mine. Abraham's blessings are mine. Blessings are mine. Abraham's blessings are mine. Sing, I am blessed. I am blessed in the morning. Blessed in the evening. Abraham's blessings are mine. The blood. Oh, there is power mighty in the blood. Join us, oh. There is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ. 
There is power mighty in the blood. Oh, in the blood. There is power the blood is here today. In the blood. The blood will touch you. Oh, there is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ. There is power mighty in the blood. Oh, in the blood. God and Father, we thank you for this great gathering. We know that you are here in our midst. And today we will rejoice before you in Jesus' name. Globally, let the joy of the Lord fill the heart of all those that are connected to this program. Do your wonders in all over the world, in all the nations connected in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you because you have answered our prayers. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. You take your program sheet. We are singing Amazing Grace. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. It was grace that taught my heart to fear, and grace my fears relieved. How precious did that grace appear. There I first believed. Through many dangers, toils, and snares, I've already come. This grace that brought me safe thus far, and grace will lead me home. When we've been here, 10,000 years, bright, shining as the sun. We no less days to sing God's praise than when we first began.
Praise the Lord. I welcome you to this first night of GCK April edition titled Glorious Visitation from Christ. I believe God. Every one of us will be visited from the Alpha location and all over the world. We want to spend a brief moment to pray. Let's pray together. Father in heaven, we praise your name for this GCK April edition here in Accra, Ghana. And I'm believing you, Lord, all over the world, in every location, that your mighty power will visit us and every participant will have a testimony. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, amen. Everybody say, global amen. In Psalm 106, he say, Praise ye the Lord, O give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good and for his mercy endure it forever. This first time, we want to begin our prayer section with praises to God, giving him thanks for what he did in the past previous global crusades the miracles, the healing, the deliverance, the signs and wonders. Let us Please lift up your voice and let us worship the name of the Lord. Let's praise him for the marvelous things he did in the immediate past GCK and other GCKs. A lot of testimonies came in from all over the world. Let's praise the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Let us lift up our voice. And praise the Lord for the man of God, the GCK convener, the convener of GCK, for the vision of GCK and how God is using him. Let us praise God for his life, for the grace of God upon his life. Shall we all please lift up your voice and let us pray. Praise the Lord for his life. Praise the Lord for divine strength. Praise the Lord for the grace of God upon him. In Jesus' name we pray. In the same veil, we want to praise God for our mother in the Lord. God has been using her to support her father in the Lord. Let us praise God for her life, for her strength. Let's worship the Lord for great things he's doing through her too. In Jesus' name, we pray. We want to bring this GCK into God's hand. In Joel chapter 2, verse 22 said, The Lord will do great things. The Lord will do great things. Therefore, we're going to pray for great manifestation of God's power, God's mercy, that by the mighty power of God, Great things will take place here in Alpha location and all over the world. Open your mouth and pray. In Asia, in Europe, in Africa, all over, wherever we are connected, that God will do great things. Open your mouth in prayer. In Jesus' name, we pray. We're going to pray. According to Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 27, it says, the latter part of it said, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is anything too hard for me? There is nothing too hard for the Lord. We want to pray at this GCK, impossibilities will be made possible. Here in Alpha location, all over the world, wherever you are connected, those on satellite, and those on social media, let us pray that God will turn all impossibilities to possibility. Open your mouth and let us pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. Let me hear global amen. Shout amen. In Isaiah chapter 49, verse 25, he said, a phrase from there said, the captivity of the mighty shall be delivered. 
to a lot of people that are in captivity, either to drug, young people, and old people as well, either to drug, to evil habit, to demon and all. Let us pray that God's power will break all those captive iron gates and release them from captivity. Open your mouth and pray. Anyone that are on drug, anyone that have been held captive in evil, that God Almighty will release them from the prison yard, from the captivity. Open your mouth, call upon the name of the Lord. He said we should pray and he will answer. In Jesus' name we pray. In Isaiah chapter 43, verse 19 said, Behold, I will do a new thing. A new thing. Let us pray that God will manifest his power to do a new thing in the life of all participants. And that God will draw souls into his kingdom through this particular GCK. Please open your mouth, raise your voice, let us pray. Tell the Lord, oh Lord, do a new thing. Do a new thing in the Alpha location. Do a new thing all over the world. Do a new thing in Asia. Do a new thing in America. Do a new thing in Canada. Do a new thing in Austria. Do a new thing in India. Do a new thing in everywhere. Afghanistan, all over. Do something new. In Jesus' name, we pray. In John chapter 14, verse 27, say, My peace I give unto you. We're going to pray for the peace, that there will be peace in Ghana, peace in Africa, peace all over the world, so that there will be nothing that will hinder or impede the success of GCK. Let's open our mouth and pray for the peace all over the world. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus' name, we prayed. In Isaiah chapter 45, from verse 1 and 2, he said unto Silas, my servant, now the man of God, whose right hand I now hold to subdue kingdom. Want to pray for the GS, want to pray for the convener of GCK, for greater anointing, power, unction, that God will give him all trans that as he open his mouth to declare the word of God, the word will come with fire, with authority, with anointing. Pray for the man of God. Pray for power. Pray for unction. Pray for anointing. Pray for the mighty power of God upon his life. In Jesus' name, we pray. Almighty God in heaven, we magnify your name. We thank you for this brief period that we have to call upon you. Father, I pray that this April GCK, as we are beginning tonight, will be something extraordinary. Do something great and touch many people. Save sinners, heal the sick, deliver the oppressed, set free the captives, anoint your servant. Possess him and use him to do great and mighty things and to draw souls into, you know, give him utterance, give him anointing, give him the power. Oh, Lord, all other ministers from other churches that are participating, Lord, I pray that your grace will descend upon everyone. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Say, bigger, amen. Please, you can have your seat as we go into uh, these announcements. We thank the Lord that the long-awaited GCK is here with us tonight. We also thank the Lord. The Lord has brought the convener of GCK, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui, the convener. We cannot stand here to assure you 
Uh, it will be, will be short of words of what the Lord is going to do in this great, 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 great program. Just to remind you, every 26 to 30, that is 17 years now, the Covenant Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumi was in this same place to hold the Great Transformation Crusade, African-wide crusade. And by the grace of God today, it's not only Africa, it is global crusade. And we believe the Lord will help him to really bring down the miracles of God at that time to the people of Ghana. That same God is here and the rest of Africa to bring blessings down upon the Alpha location and all the locations all over the world. The crusade is starting tonight and it will continue tomorrow evening till Tuesday evening. Every evening for the six days, the crusade starts at 4 p.m. Please, if you are holding a program and it is 5.30, we, we will bring you the correct one. It's 4 p.m. The crusade starts every evening at this place. Tomorrow morning, by the grace of God, 6 a.m. at Royal House Chapel at Kaneshi, there's going to be ministers, church workers, and professionals conference. Ministers and all those who work in the church, whether usher or uh, security, whatever work we are doing in your church, you are invited to that program. And when we talk of professionals, we are also talking about people, businessmen, lawyers, doctors, and all professionals. You are invited to the program. <laughs> Then on Saturday, by the grace of God, in the morning, at 6 o'clock, all the youth are going to have a program titled Youth Impact. It was changed to a Sports stadium, but as I'm talking now, information reaches show that it will take place at this same place where we are sitting. So we want all the youth in the nation to ensure that they are present and also all the other parts of the world, the youth to run to receive from the Lord, and the Lord is going to bless the youth. So, as we have been enjoying, is the young adults, the graduates, young adults are also included, not just the youth. So, we want you to take note and get your heart ready. By the grace of God, right from beginning of the program tonight till the time the Lord will bring the program to the end, nobody will remain the same. And 
And all those who are listening to the announcement, remember, if you are not able to come to the Alpha location and also to your church location, wherever you are, the program can be connected in all the social media handles. And by the grace of God, about 150 nations of the world, everybody can be connected to the program to receive blessings from the Lord. We want to encourage you that every time you are coming here, be connected to God, be prayerful, and you will never miss your blessing in this program in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord has prepared his minister and is going to use him more than ever for everybody to be touched of the Lord in Jesus' name. At this time, you will listen to choir ministration from the nations. Our hearts yearn for the sound of heavenly music, for the songs of freedom and the songs of deliverance. There are songs that ring from the courts of Zion and the presence of our great King Jesus. Those songs come to us today from the sanctified lips and the pure melodies of psalmists from the nations, men and women who love God deeply and yearn for his presence daily. So on this first day of his wonderful and wonder-filled crusade, let's join with the saints and lift our hands in praise to our great King Jesus as we listen to choir songs from states and regions and nations across the globe. At this global crusade with Pastor Kumui, we'll see miracles our mind can't comprehend. For the wonder working power of God is here. Jesus is with us. Jesus is here. Just scripture says in Mark chapter 9 verse 23, if thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. We've seen cancer disappear, we've seen broken bodies healed, don't you tell me he can't do it, don't you tell me he can't do it, we've seen families reunited, we've seen prodigals return, don't you tell me don't you tell me he can't do it. We'll see cities and revival, salvation flow the streets. Don't you tell me he can't do it. Don't you tell me he can't do it. We'll see glory fill the nations like the world has never seen. Don't you tell me. the one that working God. He's the one that works. 
You are listening to some few testimonies. I'm an ophthalmologist, senior specialist with the Ghana Health Service, and a senior lecturer for the medical school, Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. We have Pastor Stephen Donko of Kumasi, 62 years old. Pastor Donko has been having what we call refractive error. This is a deficiency in the optical system of the eye, such that he's either not able to see things that are close or things that are too far from him. And he suffered this for the past 32 years. But according to Mr. Donko, in 2021, during one of the GCK programs, he believed in the Lord and he received his healing from this problem. And since January 2022, he has thrown away his glasses, which he was wearing for this problem. So we listen to Mr. Donko as he, give, as he gives his testimony. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Stephen Donko. I'm from Kumasi, 62 years of age. By God's grace, I'm here this evening to testify to the glory of God. As Dr. Amwa said, I've been wearing glasses for 32 years. Without it, I cannot read, I cannot drive, I cannot see afar. But one of the um, GCK programs in 2021, one of the middle ones, our Father in the Lord said, wherever we want to receive your healing or your miracle, you have to place your hand on that place. And I did that. And uh, I believe that very day, the Lord healed me, but I didn't know. I was still wearing the glasses. So it became uncomfortable for me to use it. Then something said I should go and change the glasses. So I went to my brother's clinic, and uh, after the examination, he said, no, we can't give you any other lens than the one you are using. I said, wow. But I was not feeling comfortable any time I use it to read or to drive or to do any other thing. Then one in December 2020, I was swearing it, in December 2021, I went to Bible studies and on the way, I couldn't see. So I told my wife that I can't see anymore. Then something freaked me to take off the glasses. And I did that. And... Uh, I told her, now I can see. But I was still wearing it. Then uh, after the watch night, I went home and I kept the lens on the bed. And I sat on it and it got broken. So that time the Lord told me you were healed when Pastor Kumi prayed for you. And since January 2022 up to today, that's one year, four months. I'm able to drive without the lens. I'm able to read my Bible. Small, uh, the, the small size, I'm able to read now. So I say this one to the glory of God. And tonight, if you are here and you believe God, the good God who healed me, you also do your miracle for you in Jesus' name. 
Praise the Lord. I welcome you all to Accra, Ghana for the April edition of GCK 2023. Without any doubt, you can tell that the glory of God is already here saturating this camp of meeting. And of course, for those of you far away, you can feel it already. It's my pleasure to let you know that our Father in the Lord, the Founder and the General Superintendent of Deeper Life Bible Church Worldwide, Pastor William F. Kumuyi, is here with us to deliver the power of God into your life and into my life. But before he comes up with the miracle working power of the Almighty God, it is my pleasure to present to you the music guest artist for this crusade. He is a worship leader that has ministered in different parts of the United States of America. Join me to welcome Jared Anderson. Hello, everybody. My name is Jared Anderson. It's so good to be with you. I'm here with my friends, Matt and Mary. We bring you greetings. Thank you, uh, Dr. Kumiye, for allowing us to be a part of Deeper Life Church Ministries and this beautiful crusade. We're going to lift our hands, lift our hearts in worship. We're going to lift our voices in song and declare, Lord, you are good and your mercy endures forever. Let's sing it together. Come on. Yeah. 
think you're like right. a gentle whisper of love that of not as that's your Praise the Lord. We have some dignitaries to introduce to you. First on the list, our father in the Lord did not come alone. He came with our mommy, mommy Esther Komoi. We also have Apostle Eric Nyamiche, chairman of Church of Pentecost and President of Ghana Pentecostal and Charismatic Council. We have Bishop Dela Fiagomi, President, Full Gospel Church International. Reverend Dr. Joyce Aye, Salt and Light Ministries. Bishop Stephen Ousu Jackson, Christian Praise International, General Overseas.